usually my unboxing videos don't have as many views as my regular puzzle solving videos and I think I know why. Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. I've been waiting for this puzzle box for a while since it got stuck at customs for two weeks and when I got the box I didn't have to pay anything extra. Now I'm wondering why they kept it for so long. Since the box was obviously opened, there is a duct tape saying opened and resealed by customs. So probably it took them two weeks to solve all puzzles that are inside the box. Usually my unboxing videos don't have as many views as my regular puzzle solving videos and I think I know why. I'm always skipping the most interesting part and show you just puzzles, but today I'm gonna do it completely different. I'm gonna show you the most interesting part and skip these boring puzzles. I'm joking, I'm gonna show you puzzles as well, but at the very end of the video. So let's open the box. Oh, bubble wraps. Some bottles. Oh, more bubble wraps. That's great. Oh, the hat. That looks very nice. Okay, I'm finally done with bubble wraps and now the most boring part, I'm gonna show you all puzzles and probably I'm gonna solve one of them. And let's start with these five puzzles that comes in felt bags with Puzzle Master logo on them. These are five new metal puzzles uh, from Puzzle Master. Uh, three of these puzzles, Castor 5, Zepfire and Big A Cross are designed by Yavuz Demirhan from Turkey. And two puzzles, Crossover and Adelphia the Beast, are designed by Stefan Chomin from France. Uh, three out of five puzzles have difficulty level 10 out of 10. They are Zephyr, Big A Cross and Adelphia the Beast, where Adelphia the Beast, uh, it has difficulty level 10 out of 10, but as I've been told, it is supposed to be like level 15 out of 10. It is extremely difficult, it requires more than 100 moves to uh, take it apart and to assemble it again and this puzzle comes disassembled since it takes a lot of time to assemble it so a puzzle master decided to sell it unsolved so probably it's going to be even more challenging to assemble this puzzle I don't even know if I'm gonna try to solve it since for now it looks extremely difficult and uh, the uh, two other puzzles uh, have different uh, difficulty level, they're a little bit easier. Crossover has difficulty level 9 out of 10 and uh, the Caster 5 has difficulty level 8 out of 10. So 5 puzzles, all of them looks amazing. I think it's gonna take me a lot of time to solve all 5 of them. But today I'll start with the easiest one or at least the one that has the uh, Easiest difficult level, level 8 out of 10 and I hope I can solve it now and not gonna spend like hours trying to figure out the way how to solve it. Where is my stopwatch? And let's try to find the way how to solve it. That's quite beautiful little puzzle. I think that it's gonna take me not so much time to solve it since it doesn't look very difficult. There are three parts in the middle. They are black color and they are moving like a lot. There are two golden color parts and one silver color. And I have to figure out the way how to take them apart. Okay, let's see, I can move. That's kind of difficult to understand where to start. So this moves here. This piece moves here and the last one doesn't want to move. Oh, I've been able to move it in the middle. Okay. So what's next? Can move this part. Oh, and that looks like there is plenty of room for this piece. 
I can't rotate it and I don't think rotation is allowed in this puzzle, so I have to figure out something else. It feels like it is a dead end and I have to try to find something else. Maybe like this and then move one of these parts or maybe two parts. No, oh, maybe if I move this. No, I thought that I can move this part, but that doesn't look like I can do it. And actually, if, I, if you take a close look at this piece, it looks like it is held just by these two parts. If I remove these two, this piece just gonna uh, fall out of the puzzle and that's it. Okay, so I have to figure out what to do with this piece. And again, I'm back to the very beginning where I start solving the puzzle. Okay. Well, let's see what else I can do. So there are just three parts in the middle that I can move and also I can move this piece. I don't believe that I can move all the parts to one side so that I can remove this piece or this one. So it's going to be something something different. So let's see, this goes to the left, this goes to the right, this goes to the left. What if I can do something like, oh, that is interesting. I think that I can move this here and no, I don't, I don't think, see, anything that's gonna help me. Okay, let's do it again. This goes here. Oh, I can move this piece up. Okay, that gives me some room for something. I don't know for, oh, okay. I can rotate and remove this piece, but I don't think this is the solution. This solution supposed to be without rotations. Oh, I, I didn't consider this, this, this option since I can move this piece up and that's gonna be here. And now I have like a lot of space even to rotate these parts. But again, rotation, let's try to find the way how to solve it without rotating any of the parts. So let's see. Oh, that's it. Seven minutes and 50 seconds took me to take it apart. So these two parts, they are just, I've been able to remove them with the golden square. I think that it is safe even to remove all parts since I'm gonna figure out the way how to assemble it back later. Okay, so there are three parts that look exactly the same. There are two parts like this. They're kind of similar, but not all the way. And this middle piece that holds everything together. Okay, let's start my stopwatch and try to put all these parts back together. These two were like this, and I have to put them right here. This piece was, it wasn't here. Okay, something is wrong from the very beginning. That is not fun. Uh, okay, I think that I have to start not with these parts, but I have to start with another piece. I have to start with this one, stick it here and move it to the side. Next, all these parts. I have to move it inside and to the left. Now I can, no, again, okay. So I have to remove these three parts. Then I have to put this piece here. And now I can put these three parts back inside again. So let's try. That goes like this. And I think this time I will be able to fit them inside. Okay, and now I just have to 
figure out the way how to put everything back. It's going to be something like this. This goes up. This goes here. And this goes here. Okay, that's it. Nine minutes, 35 seconds, and the Custer 5 puzzle was solved. And okay, that's it. I'm not going to solve five other puzzles. And now I briefly show you the rest puzzles that I have in a box. That's all what I have in this box. Let me know which of these puzzles do you like the most and which of these puzzles do you think I have to uh, solve first. There is one puzzle that is extremely difficult. I don't even know when I'm gonna attempt to solve it. So be patient. I still have Excalibur to solve and then probably I'm gonna try to solve Adelphia puzzle. And that's it for today. Since it is Thanksgiving day, I'm gonna thank you all for watching my video. And thank you all for subscribing and thank you all for pushing the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time.